Hello again and welcome to another Turbo Pascal tutorial. About a week ago I received a request to do a Turbo Pascal tutorial on how to read a password in from the user and if correct proceed to a line of text. So this is what I've did in this tutorial and I'd like to show you. Okay, it says very simple program, it has one constant and two variables. The first constant declared here is pass and the set is turbo and the two variables are the user pass which is a string and c which is an integer which we're just going to use as a small flag. The first part of the program is it sets the flag to zero and runs into repeat until the flag gets set to one. The flag will only get set to one if the um, if statement here um, returns true. It first reads in a password from the user and sets it to the user pass. The user pass equals the constant which is declared at the top, then the count gets set to 1, then the repeat until would finish and um, it says well done you're through and, and goes on to the next part of the program. If you get it wrong it goes into the else and writes I'm sorry try again and sends you back up to the start of the repeat. At the end of the program if you do get past the repeat until it says the secret text is blah blah blah. If you don't go through the repeat until it will go on and on and on until you either terminate the application or um, get the password correct. Okay, so we'll just quickly run this. Um, like I say, it says turbo, but I'll get it wrong just to show you it not working, if you know what I mean. Sorry, try again and then enter password. This time we'll get it right. Well done, you're through, and the secret text says. Now, I think this is what the, the user was requesting me to show them how to do, but um, I personally wouldn't use anything like this at all um, to secure a, an area of um, a program. What I would do is read the password in from a file rather than storing it inside the program because if you um, compile it as an executable, you're actually going to use the program and you forget that password which is stored within the, in the program, you're absolutely beat. So. What I would suggest you do is store it somewhere in a file so that um, the programmer that's written the program knows where it is and, and how to how to read the, the password from the file. Uh, this one is a little bit more complicated than the first one I showed you. So I'm literally just going to show you how it works and um, not really go over the code which I'll leave to a, a video which I'll, I'll make later on. So the first part of the program is that you get a menu there and you've got three options. One to create a new user, one to log in and 3 to exit. Now, I've already created a new user on this one so I'm just going to um, show you what it would do. Um, the, the first part is it asks for an administration password which is Pascal and this one but I'll get it wrong it says password incorrect I'll get it right this time. If um, I can't guess it right I can press escape which will take me back to the menu um, which is a way of just if I got into this little bit and couldn't get it right, I would be in an infinite loop and couldn't quit the program, so that's why I put in the escape. I have got it right this time though, so do that. Then go into the login. Okay. This time I'll get it wrong. And it says the login details are invalid, it sends me back to the menu. Okay. I'll get it right. says you're logged in and then I, I would then be able to program it to proceed to the next bit of the program that I wanted to I wanted it to do but I haven't written a program for it to proceed to so it goes back to the menu okay and then I can exit something like that is, is like that is what I would suggest that you use rather than storing it inside the program um, the only other thing I would suggest you do as well as doing that is um, creating some sort of um, math based algorithm or something something that will um, encode the the password into something that's not readable unless you know what the know what the equation is to uncode it. Um, but this I've not done in this program. I've only really um, sent it to the, to the file to make it something that's understandable to um, somebody who's want to learn from it. I've also extensively commented in this program um, throughout so that you can sort of see what each bit is doing. Um, and I'll put both these um, program codes up online and I'll put a link to it at the bottom of the, the video in a comment and I hope to get the, the next video up as soon as possible so thanks for listening